All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple shopping cart. It's not going to be able to be themed out and customized perfectly, but it's going to be a really good shopping cart, especially because it's free. So let's check it out. The shopping cart looks a little something like this. So you have your products here in different categories. You can have you know bracelets or t-shirts and you can actually drag it into the shopping cart if you want which is pretty cool. You can open your shopping basket and you can check out. So it's a very good service and a very good shopping cart especially because it is free. Alright so let's see how to do it. First you need a WordPress website which I hope you have. Um, you can learn how to do that on my website knewton.com but I'm assuming that you do have it, so we want to go to ecwid.com. Just type into that, and we can sign in. If you have a Google account, I think you can sign in automatically. So I'm just going to sign in. And I think you know how to sign up, so I'm not going to go over that. Now, what you do is you copy this code. This is the first thing you see. You can copy this code. Whoops. So we copy the code and we log into our WordPress. And let's let's make a new page. Let's call it store and make sure HTML is clicked and let's paste it in. So let's publish the page and view the page. Okay, so it loads in right and everything. We have our store here, but it has no products. So Let's actually add some products. Let's go to our catalog and let's do a new product. <clears throat> you can fill in all these information if you want, like a number or how much it weighs. We're going to put in me as a product. We're going to say I'm $5. Very good deal. So go out and get me today. I'm going to choose our file, and I think I have a picture of me somewhere on the home, on my desktop. All right, and we're going to upload it. And should be almost done. Come on. Well, one of these days it's going to upload, hopefully. Okay, tells me the image was resized. Fine, whatever. We put in the price. We could put in description here. And let's click save. And let's see if any products were added. Maybe we didn't save it right. All 
Oh, we didn't add it to a category. So you have to add it to your category and press save. And now let's see if it worked. And it did. So we can see that we have Tyler in there and we can click on it and we can add him to the bag if we want. So there's so many more options that you can have for this. You can add a whole bunch more. You can make it look much better. You can add that shopping cart by going to the home page. And going to the control panel. And going to the dashboard and copying the bad widget code. So let's scroll down a little bit and copy this. And let's edit our page and let's paste it in. And let's see where that bag widget went. Oh, it went below it, so let's paste it above it. And we can update it. And there, now we have a shopping bag. And we can drag Tyler into the bag and purchase him. You can also hook this up to, well, you should hook this up to something like PayPal or some sort of payment system that allows you to accept payments and it allows you to do everything in here. So that's the basics of the ECWID shopping cart. I hope it helped you. Uh, to learn more, go to knuton.com.